Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and doing great. Today we will talk about how to create an executable file in MATLAB because many other programming languages give you the option of creating an executable file so that it can be easily distributed. But how you can do it in MATLAB? Today we are going to learn it. You can create an executable file that can be directly run onto any computer or you can also create an installable file that can be installed in any computer that doesn't have has MATLAB in it. So let's get started. To start building an app, the first thing you have to do is go into this Apps tab over here and then click on this Design tab button. In this App Designer Starter page, you should select whatever type of the app you want to create, but for the time being, I'm going to start with a blank app. So over here is the canvas on which I can design my app using all these controls. And on this side, I have the options to edit the control or edit the parameters or properties of the controls which I have added over here. So today we are going to generate a very simple app in which a user can select a trigonometric function, its time range and its frequency. And when he'll push a plot button, this app is going to plot a trigonometric graph of the chosen function. So for that, the very first thing is we need a label. So I'm going to place a label over here. I'm going to type trigonometric function viewer. And to change its font size, I have to select it and let's suppose I'm going to use a 20 font bold and change its color to let's suppose red and I'm going to place it in the center. After that, I need an axis onto which I want to display my trigonometric functions graph. I readjust the size of this axis. So let me adjust these properties. For example, the title should be trigonometric function and on X label, I want time and on the Y label is the amplitude of that function and after that I want the grids to be on so in the grid section I'm turning on the X grid and Y grid so this will be the graph and on this side I'm going to place some buttons and drop down menu so the very first thing I need is a drop down menu from which a user can select the function so I've labeled it as a function and in the drop down options, I'll click on this. And in the drop down options, I can have a sine function, a cosine function, and a tangent function for the time being. So these are the functions that I can have. And after that, I need the user to enter the time and frequency as well. So for that, we need two edit fields. And the first one should be the time, and the second one can be the frequency. You can add as many controls and as many fields as you like. But for this sample application, I'm just adding these two. After that, I need a push button. When pressed, it will plot the function. So let me name it as plot. And then I need another push button to exit this app. I need another exit button. Uh, I guess that's it. All these controls are enough. And now I need to add callback functions. That is, whenever I'm going to press this plot button, it will use this value, the time value, and the frequency value to plot a trigonometric function on this axis. So I need to add a function on the back side of this plot button. And for the exit button, I need to add a function on the back side of this button to close this app. So let's first add a callback function to this plot button. Select this plot button and click on this callbacks over here. And you can add the function name, which should be executed whenever this plot button is pressed. So I can name that function as plot function. When you hit enter, it will take you to the coding section and it has automatically, MATLAB has automatically generated a function over here and you can add your code over here. So the very first thing is I need to fetch the values from the dropdown menu, from the time edit field and from the frequency edit field. So from the time edit field, I need the time and I'm going to save that time into a variable t and using that value, I'm going to generate a time array starting from zero with an increment of let's suppose 0.01 and going up to the value which user has entered. And now uh, keep in mind that for edit field, the entered value will be taken as a character value. So we need to convert that character value into a double or a numeric value. So uh, here I'm going to use string to double function. It will convert the value to double that I and the time value is coming from the app time edit field and its value. That's it. And for the frequency, we just need the constant value. So I'm going to convert it into double string to double. And then 
I'm going to use app dot frequency at a field um, value. And the third thing we need is we need to see what function the user has selected. So I need to fetch the value from the uh, drop down function and save it in another uh, variable. So it will be coming from app and function drop down dot value. We don't need to convert it into double data type because it will be a string. So we don't need to do that. So whatever that user has selected, I'm going to place a switch command on it. So switch on trig for me. And for the first case, which will be sign, I need to generate a sign function. So y equals to sign 2 pi f and p. So this function will generate a sinusoidal waveform. And now I need to plot it and I need to plot it on the axis which I have made over there. So if you can see over here that what controls we have made, you can see an axis, which is this one, app.ui axis. So as the very first argument, I have to specify the axis onto which I want to plot. So app.ui axis, and I need to plot the T and the Y, and then I can select the color as red, and also let me specify the line width so that we can easily see that as three. Now for the next case, which is of cosine, I'm going to repeat all these things, uh, but I'm going to use a cos function over here. Same goes for the third case that is of tangent, but I'm going to use a tan function. And if you are familiar with tan function, then it is going to be infinite for some values of time. So we need to limit the y axis as well. Otherwise, it will uh, just go up to infinity and you won't be able to see anything clearly. So we have to limit the y axis of the ui axis, which we have placed. Uh, we should limit it between five and five. For sine and cosine, uh, the graph won't go up till infinity or won't grow at large. So the automatic limiting would be enough. But for tangent plot, you have to limit the y axis on your own. So after this, I want to end this switch statement and that's it. Now for the exit button, which is this one, you can click on this and now you can place an exit function graph, uh, call that. So whenever the exit button is pressed, this function would be called and I'm going to use a closed re close request function to close the app. And I guess all the things are uh, good to go. Now before going any further, let me run this thing and check whether it is working fine or not. So this is the app which we have created. And from here we can select the function which we want. Let's go sign and for the time I can add let's go two and frequency as one. And if I plot it, you can see that we have a sine wave. Same goes for cosine and same goes for tangent. So you can see that the limit has uh, not been adjusted automatically but to minus five and five because we have forced the limit to minus five and five. So that's it, our app is working fine. We can click this exit button to close it. Now to produce the executable file, you have to go into this designer tab and click on this drop down button from the share and you have these three options. You can either create a MATLAB app that will run inside MATLAB only. You can create a web app that can be installed or that can be integrated with any website or you can create a standalone desktop app. So I'm going to create this standalone app, click on this, and you can name this app as your Trigono function. And the author name can be your name. You can add, and you can add the description. You can add any description over here. So over here, you can select the splash screen. So that is the icon or the image that will be displayed when the app would be installing or when you'll run it. Uh, I can go to the, I have downloaded an icon, this one, and I've used it over here. So after this, you have to select either this option, runtime downloaded from web or runtime included in package. Now to run the app which the MATLAB has generated, it doesn't need MATLAB to be installed on the computer but it needs MATLAB's runtime to be installed on the computer. So MATLAB runtime is the package or is all the things that are needed to run any application developed on MATLAB. So if you want the user to download it from web, you can select this option. So whenever the user will install your app, 
the app will automatically first download the runtime from MathWorks directly, install it, and then install your app. Otherwise, if you want to help the user and doesn't want him to download the MATLAB's runtime, then you can include it in your package. But this will increase the size of your package to roughly 1.5 GBs. That would be too much. Uh, and it will also take a lot of time to generate the package. So to limit the time and the size, I'm going to select this runtime downloaded from the web. And you can also name that this installer as anything you want. Now click on package and it will take some time to package the app. So the package has completed and you can open the output folder by clicking on it. So this is our output folder. And for redistribution, you can use this thing. This setup or this installable file is going to install this app which you have in, just created into your friends or into anyone's computer. And for testing, you can go into this testing option and over here, here is your app. And if you don't want to give the installation file because your friend already has MATLAB installed, the compatible MATLAB version installed in his computer, then you can give these files only. And if you run this app by double clicking on it, this is the splash screen which uh, we chose. And here is the app that we created and it is just looking perfect. You can choose anything, use the plot function to plot and choose exit to close it. That's it. But if you want to install this app, into your computer, you can double click on this thing and now it will take some time to install this app. We didn't embed the MATLAB runtime, so first it will check whether the MATLAB runtime is available or not. If it is not available, it will start downloading it from the web and then install it and then after that it will install the app. So it will take quite a long time, so I'm going to cancel it. So that's it. Now I guess you can easily reuse the executable installable files using MATLAB. So do put your feedback in the comment section and if you have any questions or queries i am always there for your help thank you and take care